guys hope you're having a good day today I kind of just wanted to chat with you guys I'm gonna be doing my makeup in the video as well but mostly I just like I don't know I just want to chat if I get too carried away I might forget to like mention products so I will definitely be sure to list everything that I've used in the description box my hair is still like pretty soaked I just showered it is Monday today actually um, and it is Thanksgiving Monday here in Canada I feel like the states have a different Thanksgiving or maybe just a second Thanksgiving I don't know so anyway yeah it's a holiday here so I don't have to work today which is awesome so I'm not really gonna be doing um, a fancy face nothing is open today like nothing so I'm not going anywhere. So I've already like washed and moisturized my face and I used my La Roche-Posay Zero Zinc. It's a, like an anti-shine kind of uh, mist. So yeah, my boyfriend and I went to visit all of our families actually over Thanksgiving. We had to take our cat with us, which usually we wouldn't like if we're going for one night, you know, the cat can kind of take care of itself for a day. And we had to take the cat because I don't know if I've said this, but our cat has, our cat Tomato, that's her name, uh, has diabetes. So we have to actually give her like needles of insulin twice a day. So I've just mixed together a little bit of my Estee Lauder Double Wear in 1N1 with my MAC face and body in the white shade just because Estee Lauder does not make a shade that is pale enough for me. Not in my country anyway. Plus it kind of like shears out the Estee Lauder foundation which is pretty pretty heavy duty. I feel like it was hard on her to like be away from home. She's kind of like a scary cat. Like she's very nervous and um I don't know. She has been also since yesterday, not since yesterday, but yesterday she threw up once and it looked like um, like stomach bile, like it was like foamy yellow. And I looked online and that could be nothing, but it also could be something. So we'll definitely have to get her checked out. Oh, I just feel bad for, you know, the diabetes and now this, we gotta poke her every day, poor thing. My skin has been pretty brutal lately too, like, just like breakouts, especially like I've always gotten my most, most of my breakouts like kind of on my cheeks, but they've been exceptionally worse since I used the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I just can't seem to get rid of them and I still have a few new ones that are coming. So I don't know what it is. Honestly, I feel like I'm going through like a second puberty in my life. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm 26 right now and I haven't really had that bad of breakouts since I was like, I don't know, 17. They are better than they were a few weeks ago, so I guess I shouldn't complain. Ugh, this hair. Actually, speaking of hair, a um, couple things. One, I kind of want bangs. I've had bangs before. I'll see if I can find some pictures and Put them on the screen and I really liked having bangs but I just like never really kept them up but anyway I've been kind of like wanting a change without like changing my hair color I've been really liking just kind of keeping it this kind of natural grown out blonde by the way I'm going in with this wet n wild color icon bronzer in the shade reserve your cabana just gives like a really nice glow to the skin but yeah I'm really wanting bangs so please let me know what you guys think if I should get bangs if I shouldn't get bangs hopefully these photos that I will share with you will help visualize what I would look like but yeah I really want to get bangs but I don't know there's so many downsides to bangs like <laughs> you can't just put your hair totally up you know if you have greasy hair like I can tend to get you know it can cause your forehead to break out also the growing out stages might not be that cute next I'm going in with my elf bronzer palette and I kind of just like mix in all of the shades together and very very lightly touch my face this is pretty pigmented and I don't really like heavy heavy bronzer also on the topic of hair I get so many questions um, every day about hair and my hair and, and your guys's hair 
and um, I don't know like I feel like I started my channel really on a hair theme I mean I started YouTube because you know I couldn't find the videos that I want to, to watch and at the time I was really experimenting with my hair and going through some stuff and wanting to you know change my looks all the time so that, I mean that's really where I started but I mean my passion really is you know makeup and chilling and talking I don't know so I feel like it's been really difficult to like try and transition my channel because obviously my hair videos are the most popular and even when I post a makeup video you know I still get tons of comments on my makeup videos about hair not that I mind at all like helping out or answering questions but sometimes I just kind of want to be like this is a makeup video <laughs> anyway I don't mean that in a bad way I just I feel like the bones of my channel is about hair so it's anyway it's just been a harder transition than I kind of thought I mean I'm not really changing my hair all that much anymore so hopefully you guys are still enjoying my content I mean I'm still enjoying making it um, but I will say um, a question that I constantly get is about my hair right now and um, most people actually think that this dark is um, a color which it's not um, this is actually just my natural I mean it's darker right now because it's wet but uh, kind of a really dark blonde maybe kind of a light sandy brown so that is my natural color at the top there you guys know that for a long time I was like solid blonde root to tip I was bleaching my roots every like four to six weeks um, totally solid blonde and then I decided that I wanted to transition from solid blonde to more of like a highlighted blonde. You know, I didn't want that stark straight across root when it grew out anymore. So what I did was I gave myself a fake root um, and I have a video of that, which I mean, it didn't really turn out all that great, but it served its purpose because I knew when I was doing it that I wasn't going to just leave it like that I knew that I was going to do the fake root and then I was going to get highlights put on on top so that I could instantaneously get that highlighted look as opposed to waiting until my hair grew out enough to then get highlights if that makes sense um, and since then I've just been letting it grow and I think twice I've gone back yes twice since then I've gone back to bring up you know the highlights more and I just get baby lights so you can I mean when they're wet you can barely see them but you know I wanted to keep the grown out look that's also kind of like why I'm hesitating on the bangs is because my bangs if I got them would be primarily a darker color and I'm not sure if I would like you know having all this blonde down here and then like a heavier bang that is pretty dark I don't know um, I have had that look before so I'll have to go back and look at pictures by the way I think every time that I've had bangs except for once I cut them myself and they actually turned out really good so if I do decide to do bangs I will definitely film that um, by the way this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown which is a perfect color if you have kind of like cool toned uh, light brown or dark blonde brows. So while I was home and visiting with families um, over this Thanksgiving weekend, of course I feel like because I'm, you know, that age, you know, I'm 26, my boyfriend Paul is 28, you know, we've been together for over three years now, and, you know, we constantly fight off the when are you gonna get married when are you gonna have kids when are you gonna buy the house with the picket fence and the two dogs i feel like the millennial generation is like the first on like a wide scale to really push back on this kind of stereotypical uh series of life events you know like you know i think that our parents and generations before them as well really felt like their lives weren't put together until they had the house and you know they were married and they had two kids and a dog and a family-sized car and you know decent jobs i feel like 
me, I'm like in the middle. It's like, you know, there's a certain kind of like pressure, like kind of something that I like about that, but there's also something in me that says, does it matter? Does that really matter to me? So I'm just taking this number seven instant illusion wrinkle filler. I know I'm 26. Do I really need to worry about wrinkles? The answer is yes. Um, this is not like a long term like treatment or fix. This is very like very short term. Like when you wash it off at the end of the day, the effects are gone. Um, but basically I just like to put this in kind of like this area. Like I tend to get kind of a crease right here. And I know it seems super weird that I'm putting this on uh, after like makeup and after foundation, but I swear to you, it doesn't take off the makeup and it doesn't do anything funny. And I feel like it kind of softens that line just a little bit. Anyway, maybe I'm crazy. I also put just a tiny bit on, I have kind of a frown line right there. Oh, I should really update you guys on my health as well because if you guys watched maybe a couple of my previous videos, you know that I was really not doing well for a while. You know, I, I had been going in and out of the hospital with, you know, like face and, and head pain. Like at one point, like my arms were going numb, like half my face was going numb. And I mean, I've had migraines my whole life. But this, what I was feeling, I'd never felt before. And like, I get migraines like, I don't know, anywhere from three to five days a week. Do you see that though? That made that um, little line totally disappear. Okay, I'm not crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, migraines, what I was having, I mean, they did scans on me. They said they couldn't really find anything wrong. Um, so I actually made the decision to, and I, I haven't even told you guys this, to get um, my Juvederm removed. So, I, don't, I mean, there's no reason why I didn't tell you guys about this. It's just, you know, it wasn't like a noticeable thing. So, I don't know, there was like nothing really to hide because you couldn't really notice it anyway. But I had had some Juvederm kind of put between here just to fill it out a little bit. And it also helped with that wrinkle at the time. And I had only got that done about, I wanna say like, four or six weeks before all this pain started. And um, most people agree that that probably wasn't the issue, but I got it dissolved. It's doing so much better. And I, you know, it just makes me wonder, like maybe it wasn't that at all. Like it totally could have been unrelated to that. But you know, some people just are more hypersensitive or just sensitive to things in general. And you know, I've always had sensitive skin and you know, I don't know, sensitive nerves. Like I tend to get like a lot of like nerve pain. I don't know, maybe it was pressing on a nerve that was causing my face to go numb and the pain. Like it did at times feel like it was centered around this part of my face. And I don't know, I guess you just, I, I mean, I guess I would never really know for sure, but I don't know, I would, I would caution people if they were ever thinking about getting something like that, like fillers in their face, you know, nothing wrong with it. Like I did it myself. And uh, I just don't think that I would do it again because of that, because, you know, when I got it in my head that, you know, maybe, maybe it was that that was the issue, you know, it really kind of scared me and made me realize that, you know, looks aren't what's important. And I would never want to risk my health for I don't know, my skin looking more plump or, you know, getting rid of a little tiny wrinkle. Anyway, that was just my experience. Most people have no issues at all with their lip fillers or um, under eye fillers or whatever it is. Most people have no issues. I feel like you always know when a lipstick becomes your favorite when it ends up in your purse. By the way, this purse is very messy right now but uh this purse is from the website teddy blake i've heard about this brand from other youtubers and um the hype is definitely real like how adorable is that so this lipstick is from mac it's in the shade so select and you can only get this lipstick if you are like 
part of their membership program. You don't need to spend a certain amount to become part of their membership program, but it's kind of just like a point system. Uh, anyway, this lipstick is very cute. It is a matte formula, but what I like about Max matte formulas is that they are still like really creamy. They're not drying at all. Kind of like if Soar and Whirl had a baby, it would be this one. All right, I guess that is the makeup look done. I feel like I talked your guys' ear off. Hopefully it wasn't so terrible. Um, but yes, please let me know down below what I should do with my freaking hair, if I should get bangs, if I should not get bangs. I'm so like ready to do it, so <laughs> I need to hear from you guys first. So thank you so much if you got this far in the video, and um, I'll see you guys in my next one very soon. Bye.